I like it. I yeah, like it. I like it a lot too. Because not only is there familiarity, I mean, look, if anybody knows what he's getting out of Don Terry Poe, it's the assistant mm -hmm. GM in Atlanta, which is Scott Pioli, who drafted him in Kansas City. I mean, you get two for the price of one. You get a nice defensive tackle and a tight end or a quarterback if you want. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you can find ways to use them on offense the way they did in Kansas City. But you know what Dan Quinn is building? He's building mm -hmm. a deep, fast, aggressive, penetrating defensive line that for a while in that Super Bowl. Yeah, I was going to say, they showed they, to be every bit you. of that. You say, hey, they lost a 28-3 lead. Well, if you want to find a way to look at the bright side, they had a 28-3 lead. If you want to keep 28-3 leads in your future, yes. you make this kind of signing. They made life miserable Cole. for Tom Brady at one point. So the more talented depth they have up front, the more they can make life miserable for the Drew Breeses, Cam Newtons, and Jameis Winston's of the world in that division first and foremost. Well, you just wonder um, with this team in particular about what is – the Super Bowl hangover like when you experience that kind of loss. Uh, with Carolina, to some degree, I didn't expect them to be as bad as they were. You could see some of it coming, given the losses that they had in the offseason in terms of personnel. But if you're Atlanta, is that the biggest hurdle you really face in the offseason, is getting over the fact that you, you blew a Super Bowl? You'd like to get back there and see.